Thirty-eight percent. Ninety-nine percent. One more. And one hundred. There we go. Four buckets of hater. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Gold Rush. Uh, yes, I have been busy. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. I have run. This is my fourth bucket here, and today we are gonna try to spend some money and actually get up to the tier t tier two if I can if we can. Uh, we do have to get a few things first. One, we are getting the wave table. We are getting the magnetite separator. Well, technically two things we're getting. Uh, we'll have to get an electric generator too, just for the sake of it. And then we'll go from there. Um, I haven't process. I'm not going to process these four buckets yet until we get the magnetite separator. Uh, the, the gold that we have right now, I I realized I said 1,700 grams, and I should have said 170 grams in the last episode. Excuse me a second. Oh, sorry about that. That's the beauty of recording and not streaming is you can always pop, you can always oh, emit the unexpected. But anyways, uh, yeah, uh, 170 grams. So we got about eight thousand dollars, and that should be enough to get the wave table and the magnetite separator and the generator. Uh, those four buckets there. I'm just gonna go on the low end. Say I got about 200 grams there out of the four buckets. So let's say 50, 50 grams a bucket. So that's it's about 8600. That right there will almost buy the wash plant, depending on what the landlord takes. Now, I was thinking about the whole excavator situation. Now, I don't know if I want to just rent the small one or if I should go ahead and rent the big one. You rent the big one, you're going to keep that wash plant running. That's uh, the thing about the small one is it takes, you, you can't keep the, the hopper full enough to keep processing the dirt. So it's actually faster and you get more gold by using, ow using the big excavator. I'm surprised they haven't broken a wheel yet. Uh, the big excavator though was like $3,200 a day. So that means we'd have to get about 80 grams of gold a day just for the excavator alone. Which means it would have to be 110? Yes, 110 because a lot of those gotta take his cut, right? Or her, well I shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too quick to judge here. You never know. But anyways, let's see what's on sale today. Maybe that wash plant's on sale. Big power generator, don't need it. And high voltage power cable, don't need it. Well, we could, but that's for the that's a blue one for the the mobile wash plant. But first of all, and I probably should have done this. I was thinking about selling a few buckets first, but we got to go to the bank and. I realize I should have done this back at the tent there before I left. But we gotta get a tiny, tiny, tiny little loan, which is gonna cost us a hundred bucks just so we can smelt our gold. And one of the things I wanna know is if if they're ever gonna add your own own smelting into the game. Alright, we'll take that. So it gives us two fifty, which hopefully is enough to smelt all this gold. But yeah, in uh, in the tent you have the little burner and the scale and all that stuff, so you should be able to smelt your own stuff. As far as getting them impurities out, for as far as I know, you just put like industrial soap in it. It's just like more or less like borax or laundry soap, and that just basically gets the impurities out. So when you smelt it down to the crucible, all the impurities flow to the surface. You skim it off and you pour it into a cast. Yes, I've watched a lot of television. It's amazing what th things you learn, and they call it the idiot box. Speaking of which, uh, yes. High beams. Dev's got to add a high beam button. Okay, let's see. I can't even smelt at all. That's so goddamn expensive. Alright, well that is going to be a minute, so I'll bring you back when that's done. Actually, you know what? I'll leave the truck here. We'll run down to the, the place here and... Uh, yeah, we'll go check the wash plant, see how much wash plant it is, and also the wave table and the magnetite separator. You could probably even go ahead and order everything up ready to go, so we all we have to do is just go back to the bank, smelt the rest of the gold, come back here, pick it up, yada yada yada, the whole nine yards. And I know I could sell gold to the blacksmith, but you get a terrible price for it. It's like 30% or something. So, yeah, so, see that? 69 we, weren't we here earlier and it was 64? So 7 grand for that. 
wave table is 5,000 now. 50-65. We don't even have to get both of them. I do want to get that, though. And the generator is more expensive, too. Of course. So, yeah, the prices must fluctuate. So, we'll run back over here. Buy the gold. Can't smelt any more up until I, we run back to the bank. And then we should get another 100 grams or 7.5 ounces, somewhere around there. And yes, uh, I am keeping it grams. Uh, I didn't actually mention this before, and I'm also show you this now since we're going here to pick this up. I'll drop that off. If I go into settings here, just do this quickly, and from metric to imperial, apply. And then as you can see, it's ounces. So instead of 100 grams, I got 3.5 ounces. Yeah, that makes sense. 31 grams. But you go in here and you go to the upgrades. Look at this. 124.589 ounces. 1763.698. But yet, if you go back to a metric, it actually shows it as grams. And it's even numbers. And we go back in here, and then there you go. 35,000, 35,000, 35,000, 50,000. So I'm keeping it for grams, and then like I said, it's always better to see 100 grams and 3.5 and ounces, right? Anyway, let's go see what we get at the bank. Uh, I haven't checked the prices. I think it was still the 42.80. So it's not going to give us a whole lot of money. Let's get some light here so we can see. That's actually a new thing they got in the game, too, that I want to check out maybe even start using you know for re recording purposes I'm surprised I haven't destroyed this thing yet but they have uh, light stands now telescopic uh, work lights and from what I've seen from other LPs are actually relatively cheap on fuel you can have them running all night and use like 5% fuel like a couple liters or something like that so it's not too bad 2700 not bad so I get about another three grand out of that so and then I still got the other gold. Uh, the wave table is definitely a must because, you know, those pans that I panned last episode took me a couple hours to do in game. Not in real time. It took me like 15 minutes, but one hour seems to go by, by about five minutes. So it takes you 15 minutes to do some. That's three hours game time. That's, you know, that's, that's time you could fill the wash plant. For Okay, so we'll go here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cut here. I'll take get this taken care of, and I'll bring you back when I've got everything sold. All right, the, the second bar is ready. I was just snooping around here. I know there's a second part of the story. I know I sat in the journal. There's extra pages. So let's see what this one says. I'm going to go to journal, and we're going to... Be nice if we had tabs for this. Blacksmith. Calm down, calm down, Batty. We can reheat it later. All right, okay, I'll, I'll let you read this. I'll read this myself. Okay, well, it doesn't seem to be too much, so maybe what we'll do is uh, let's collect everything, and then eventually, what's that? No. I'll collect, every, collect all the stories and then read them all together. So I'm uh, guessing there might be one more around here somewhere. I have absolutely no idea where it's going to be. I don't know where I can go. I got all these invisible walls everywhere. I got this room that building I want to try to get into one of these days. I don't know how, but we will. Anyway, let's get our three and a half ounce bar of gold and see if we get any money. Yeah, just throw it in the back of the truck like it's an empty bucket. And off we go. So I'm thinking about this. You know, might have to hold off on the nine tight separator right now. Uh, I'd say processing pay dirt faster is more important. Uh, you know, getting the... Th Ooh. Yes, I know how to drive. Getting the 35,000 grams or whatever, 75,000 grams, just a bang tight. It's not that bad. I was getting about 3,000 grams a bucket out of my wash plant, so it's not terrible. So let's see, that gives me 6,000. Oh, yes, we have to pay off the loan, too. Okay, now that actually gives us up to two and a half grand. 
Okay, that's not bad. All right, so let's go get the wash plant or the, the wave table. We got the wave table, the generator. Uh, one of the things I noticed, and I don't know if, how long they've been in the game for, but they actually have electric water pumps now. They're the same size as the gas pump that we have, but they're electric. And they're actually really handy because when you have them hooked up to the big generator box, all you gotta do is just hit the main button and all your pumps start and all the machines start so you don't have to worry about pulling any rip cords. Anyway, we'll get this. It's one of those times where I almost want to wait for, uh, wait for a sale to come on. Right, we gotta buy one of those and we need a cable. Buy one of those. Now, I'm wondering... See, 50 bucks for that. Because I want to get one of these and get a splitter so I'm not constantly having to switch between hoses. Alright, I can have one going to the water pump, one going to the wave table, and one going to the magnetite separator, which we don't actually have right now, so I can probably save the 40 bucks on that. But, yeah, I'll get this. 100 bucks, 150. Eh, I gotta spend money to make money, right? Uh, ooh, that's low. Um, yeah, might as well get it. We'll need it anyways. Okay, so we got the wave table. We got the generator. Uh, let me load this up, and we'll head back to the claim. Okay, I am back, and I just realized you got 175 bucks to our name, which means it's gonna take a couple of trips to get everything smelted. Uh, so now, I, something I was thinking about, and I wanted to see if this actually, we could actually get this in here. I wanted to see if we could actually get this inside the tent here. We can. Alright, which way is which here? There's a switch. Okay, we'll do... We'll drop that there. And, you know, they really do need to work on the placement of things in this game. It is so... finicky. To say the least. Alright, so that is that. Uh, we need the generator. I'm gonna leave the generator outside. Because it's gonna be with the water pump. And I'll probably put the generator there. We'll go grab the water pump and put that up there. Disconnect that. And that. And let me get some light for you. There we go. Now we both can see. You know, last thing I need to be doing is not being able to see what I'm doing. Okay, and yeah, just like so. Alright, then we grab uh, this hose, and that's what I forgot to buy. Well, I don't have the money for it anyways. That wa water filter is like 150 bucks or 100 and something. Not cheap. Alright, so that's water hooked up there. Uh, I gotta get the splitter and the other hose. So that hose we can throw over there for now. And stuck on the fence. Okay, there we go. Mind you, I like to see anybody jump over that just from a standstill. Anyway, let's put this. See, now some things you can rotate like that, and others you can only rotate on the main axis, which I find kind of weird. Alright, so that is that. Is that going to reach the hog pan? No. Let's bring it down here a little bit. As long as I get the hose in the tent, that's all that matters. Alright, then we'll hook that up there and over to there. We'll go and grab this one. I didn't want to take the whole thing, I just wanted to pick up the end. But I know you gotta get into wind mode for it to stretch. Yes, hard to believe this game's in early access, right? Anyway, enough chit chat. Let's get this hooked up. So this is gonna be the water for the wave table, and this is actually something I do like about the way the physics work in this game. Where you, when you have something plugged in, whether it's water or electricity, that it becomes physics physics immune. Let's say. So now that I put that put that there, I can drive into this with the goddamn dozer, and I won't knock this thing over. So that was good. And now, the last thing we gotta do is... Oh, we gotta fuel up the generator. I do have the four buckets ready. 
Uh, yes, four buckets of pay dirt. Three for me and one for the landlord. I might as well just give him one bucket and say, here, pan it yourself. <laughs> then I'd probably be out, out in the street and he'd be saying, here, go find your own claim and you can dig it yourself. Alright, what's next? Next is, let's get some fuel in here. Uh, where is that jerry can? Uh, I lost a jerry can. No. I threw it over here. And I dropped it over there. Oh, this game's fun sometimes. Top up that, top up that. And like so, so give that a rip. We have water, good. Go hit that on, and let's go grab our buckets. Now, I would like to be getting the magnetite, but I know I'm not going to be getting much out of these. Probably like 50 or 60 grams, if that. And uh, no, there isn't too much in the hog pan site. So, anyway, it's a little noisy. Let me get the rest of the buckets. It's snowing! It kind of sucks, because that means we're going to freeze up here. And those generators are noisy, so I might have to move them. But then we're going to be having burning diesel pretty quick anyways. But yeah, i got to get this process quick here before it freezes. So let's see what we get. Four buckets. I'm going to say about 200 grams. That was actually a good bucket. That was some good dirt. Nice. 87. Oh, we might be getting that wash plant. Well, we need the magnetite separator first. I can only imagine what the top tier stuff is, but... You know, it's really all about getting that gold that we're losing. We're losing 10% right now. If we can gain an extra 5%, that's... That's money in the bank. Look at that, 200 grams already. That was actually worth the effort. We're at the 240. I mean, we're going to be well over 300 grams. Nice. And yes, I know I can put this in and put it in more. I like to see what each bucket does. So it was getting better. As I was going in, it was getting a little bit better. Maybe I can turn that off now. The Holy Grail. Down on your knee. Pray pray to it. Pray for the big one. Anyway. 350. Nice. Very nice. So, 350. Uh, landlord's going to get 75 of that. I think. Nope. 85. And I think we stopped just in time. Minus one, and we're just about to freeze up out there. Which isn't bad. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it a night, see what the landlord has to say, and then we'll see what we can do about spending some money. 247. So we got 10 grand. 106 grams of gold. Ugh. Okay, are we frozen? Place your bets now. Surprisingly, no. Then again, we're just above zero. But anyways, I'm going to go head off to the blacksmith and get all the stuff smelted to turn this gold into green and see what we got. Okay, so I've got 88.50, which isn't actually too bad. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, so let's... A, let's go check to see what the wash plant is. See if that wash plant went down in price. I didn't see any sales when I was coming out here. But you never know. I'm actually curious about this pricing. If it's a, if it's a, it's a variable price or if it's fixed. I don't think it's fixed. I'm pretty sure it's variable. 72. It went up 300 bucks since yesterday. Wow. So, that... I've got the generator, got the pump. That's 72, that leaves me 16. <sighs> 16. 
Now, getting an excavator runs into a bit of a problem because we need this. And that's five grand. I thought about, uh, we could technically fill it up with jerry cans, but it doesn't say how much they hold. I think they hold, I want to say 40 liters, 20 liters, but the excavator holds 300, so, hmm. And then uh, only the option to go to the bank and borrow money, but that's when things go terribly, terribly wrong. And as much as I'd like to get out of that ho hog pan pit, I might have to do it. I'm not too sure. Uh, the problem with the hog pan pit right now is it's getting to the point where you actually have to run back and forth. It's not like you just turn over and dump it in there now it's a matter of you actually have to move to put it in all right so the rental on the excavator was 800 a day max one i can get it about five grand 4500 lowest payments i could possibly get are 460. 45 give me 13,000, and then we have to transport the excavator too I'm sorry, I was, forgot how to start my own truck here. So let's go back to the the machine shop. Are they, yeah, the machine shop, I think it's actually called. The other place is the equipment shop. This is the machine shop, I do believe. And let's just see what that excavator costs. As far as another transport, it's still going to be 1500 <sighs> That went up in price, too. This was 17000 yesterday, which means we're looking at $800 a day to rent, plus fuel. Hmm. I might just say to hell with it and get the magnetite separator first. Because regardless, we got to get that magnetite separator so we can get more of our gold back. It's really all it's about. Or, you know what, since we got to get anyways, let's go get that wash plant. Really should be getting the magnetite separator though. Hmm, it's a good question. I'd like to get both, but I can't. I'm not borrowing any money if I don't have to. Don't have to, I got almost 9,000. I just don't have enough to buy everything I want to buy. Hmm. You can't even rent the, these things either. You can only buy them. Now it gives me 1600 And this... But, you know, like I said, if we're going to get this going, we have to have this. Just because that's... One bucket out of there is going to get us 2,000 grams out of here. You know what? Let's do it. Get that. What else do we need? We need get another cord. I think uh, I don't think I bought the hose, but I'll get another one anyways. And we'll add that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we really need. Now these are the normal work lights they have. These are you actually have to plug into a generator. But where is it? It is. Where's that lighting system? Right here. This thing. This actually runs off gas fuel and it uses very little so it's actually pretty good but it does have parts that has to be replaced apparently the hydraulic here needs to be replaced but they're pretty cool i've never used them before but yeah they're pretty interesting all right oh yeah i guess i gotta <laughs> gotta check out so yeah i shall grab this and i'll meet you back at the claim okay i'm back and one of the things i want to do is uh, as i was saying these things are absolutely noisy so I'm wondering if I'll be able to reach everything if I place them here. Because they won't be too loud. Right? So let's see if this will actually reach. I'm going to say no. And I need a power splitter. Alright, well we only going to have one cord in there. We'll have to swap back and forth. But we can have the hoses hooked up. That's not a problem. Because this doesn't have to actually be here. I can go down. I can uh, take you. We can move you. 
Oh, I could probably put you right over here too. Make the hoses all reach. Now we go the other way. Like so. And back over here, we grab... This stuff could just stay wherever because it'll all reach. That was the out. And uh, this is the in. Thank God these things are 50 meters long too. And there we go. Now let's get the magnetite separator in there. We'll put this in here. We'll put it probably on the other wall. Uh, sure. Put it right here. Why not? I've never actually used this tent before. I might as well use it for something, right? And I did actually have that other hose. It was in the back of the truck, of course. So, yeah, that's nothing new. So I'm just gonna. Come on, you. Work with me. Okay. Yes. Come on. Come on, physics. Oh. Excuse me. Let me fix this stupid thing. So finicky. It is on a flat surface. What are you talking about? There it is. Yeah, that's the problem is it's touching the thing as, I, as I'm going in. Oh. You know what? <laughs> Let's do this the, the smart way. Let's plug it into the, the splitter first. So that way I'm not dragging the big giant hose with me. And we're not frozen. Yeah, we're uh, wasting time here. We're not doing a whole lot, but that's fine. There we go. So all I gotta do is just switch back and forth. Just switch the cord over for now until we get a splitter. But I think this would be a good time to end the episode. Uh, it's snowing. It's cold. We're not frozen, so I'm gonna probably do a little more work in the. The hog pan side here, get a few more buckets, and then I'm, I'll do that between now and the next episode. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.